some questions. Why are so many working class people who purport to be struggling to make ends meet and feel like they're being screwed by the system okay with a man running for president of America bandying about Hitler references and dictator references and tax breaks for the wealthiest and making hateful racist remarks, sexist remarks, slurring Jews and Muslims and immigrants and letting the richest man in the world help him get elected. Why aren't these things deal breakers instead of bringing him to the brink of a second illegal corrupted term in office? Why aren't people outraged by this instead of turned on? Some say they don't care what he says as long as the economy gets better. Is that true? They're okay with all this toxic, poisonous ugliness that eats away at our core, at our collective soul and conscience as long as they have a little financial security? Why does Kamala Harris have to beg black men to vote for her against a man who would prefer they had remained slaves? Why do any women support an anti-abortion convicted rapist? Why do so many in the military support a draft deferring coward who has shit repeatedly on their service? Why are sick people or people that will be sick and diseased so excited about dismantling the Affordable Care Act. It's kind of crazy, don't you think? What's wrong with us? Is this country beyond hope, beyond help? Are there that many people who are racists, who hate women, who want to be part of a fascist army that will crush all freedoms, including their own? What do they think is going to happen if Trump gets elected? Have they forgotten the ineffectual previous term where he accomplished nothing but banning abortion and tax breaks for the wealthy. When did Americans become lemmings? Even if Kamala wins, these weird feelings and beliefs won't disappear. In fact, they may increase. Now that's a lot of questions, but if I was to summarize it all in one question, it would be, when did America become bizarro America?